We begin tonight at 5 o'clock. Tragedy on this 4th of July. Just so heart-wrenching. A, a young boy has drowned. I'm Heather Mills. I'm in for Marie tonight. And I'm Jim Snyder. Police say the three-year-old wandered into a neighbor's backyard in the West Valley. News 3's Antonio Castellan is there live. Jim, it's unclear how the boy made it to the backyard of this home. This home is basically fortified. There are gates. There's a tall wall and bars all over it. The boy actually lives on a neighboring street. People who live in the area say there's a possibility that the three year old scaled the wall. Metro Police received a 911 call just after 11 this morning of a three year old boy discovered in a backyard pool. Emergency crews rushed to a home near Decatur and Lindell. Paramedics rushed the boy to a hospital. They were not able to resuscitate the three year old. Police confirmed the child died. Steve Durst maintains pools in the area. He says it's always tough to hear about a child drowning. Oh, it's a tragedy, especially a three year old, uh, because I have a granddaughter who is two and a half and uh, we take precautions. We have a little gate. Police say the little boy was found in a neighbor's pool. They say the child was left unsupervised. It's unclear how the boy got into the pool. The three year old lives on a neighboring street. Neighbors tell us the boy may have climbed a wall or walked around the block. No one knows how long the three year old was in the pool. Rosario Misakayan lives next to the home where the boy drowned. They have a kids and they have a pool. I hope they, they watch their kids if they know they were you know, like if they're having a swimming party like kids, you know, they don't know what they're doing. Police sources say the three year old may have been in the care of his grandparents and somehow the child managed to get out of the house. There is a gate to the pool. No one knows if it was locked. Durr says homeowners always need to pay attention to their gates. There is a lot of safety precautions, especially with the Clark County Health District doing commercial pools that they make sure that the gates latch. Uh, they, there is a fine if, uh, if the gates don't latch, latch properly. Detectives are interviewing neighbors on both streets. They continue their investigation. As for the three-year-old boy, the Clark County coroner still has not released his name. Reporting live, Antonio Castellan, News 3. Oh, our hearts with them. All right, Antonio, thank you.